Hello, I'm Joe St. Hilaire. I'm an assembly technician from Husky Injection. Today, we're going to build an ultrasink. So now we're going to install the center plate onto the manifold plate. We're going to grease the dowels on the manifold plate. And we're going to grease the holes on the center plate. This stop pad is for valve stem closed position. This stop pad is interchangeable to adjust valve stem protrusion. Install, install socket head cap screw. Now we're going to insert the cam bars, we're going to insert the locating dowels, which are located here, here, and here. These two are aligned onto the bearings. the same on the opposite side. Now we're going to install the socket head cap screws. We're going to apply the 242 Loctite, install the socket head cap screws and torque to 12 foot pounds. Now we're going to install the yoke, dowels, and sock head cap screws. We're going to apply the cage bearings. We're going to apply a thin layer of Sin Extreme grease on the inside. Now we're ready to install the actuation plate. First, we're going to apply a thin layer of grease to the bushings.
as we install the actuation plate, we're going to raise it and lower it to make sure that all cage bearings are even. Now we're going to install the shoulder bolts. Now we're ready to install the cam inserts. First we're going to install the dowels, then we're going to put a thin layer of grease on the cam insert and a thin layer of grease on the bearing. Now we're going to install the hardware, socket head cap screws, 242 Loctite. Now we're going to install valve stems, socket cap screws. We're going to apply Chemitrex grease on the set screw and torque to 25 foot pounds. That was pretty bad. Can we do it again? This is the ball screw assembly and we're going to install this. This will come pre-assembled. Insert. So now we're going to install the socket head cap screws. We're going to put Loctite 242. Now we're going to torque to 12 foot pounds. After that's torqued, take the grease hose and insert it in the barb fitting on the electrical box. During ball screw removal, do not remove fender washer or unscrew the ball screw from the ball nut. This will result in ball bearings falling out and will need to be rebuilt by the supplier.
this time we're going to install the servo mount. Typically the electrical boxes will not be mounted at this time. When installing coupling, ensure that the coupling does not touch the end of the ball screw. At this point, we're ready to install the backing plate, bolt, and torque. Install locating ring. Twelve foot pounds. At this point, we're going to install cover plates. Place hot runner in vertical position. Fasten servo base to servo mount. Finger tight fasteners. Install servo motor onto servo base and insert servo motor shaft to coupling. Fasten servo motor to servo base with socket head cap screws, 29 foot-pounds.
torque coupling clamp screws, eight foot pounds. Fasten cover plate to servo base. Ensure connectors on servo motor are pointing in the downward position. To decouple a valve stem improperly shut off a drop or close a gate, Husky recommends removing the screw from behind the valve stem and turning off heater for the appropriate zone. This ensures the valve stem and or gate will not be damaged by intentionally decoupling the shear pin. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to remove a valve stem. First we remove the backing plate, then we remove the set screw, stem removal tool, insert and screw on the top of the valve stem. and remove. This can be achieved while in the machine and at operating temperature. Husky recommends at 1 million cycles, the ball screw needs to be inspected and lubricated. Remove the side cover 